Honestly, teachers are some of the most badass people on the planet. Like, I've always had res- teachers, like I said in other posts, like, one reason why I'm so vocal about my experience as a long term sub was because teachers are my superheroes to this day. Like, I grew up idolizing teachers, nurses, military, law enforcement, all those people. So, if they're getting screwed, if a teacher's getting screwed, especially since I've lived it, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be vocal and fight for them. Even if I, even if that means I don't get my old job back, I've accepted it, you know, but it's really, is it about me? So long story short. Yeah. Um, look at whenever you hear about them. And also, yes, I did just get up. So I look a little rough right now, but that's okay. So look at those news stories where you hear about a mom, you know, jumping in to save the day and lifting a car off of a child, right? That adrenaline kicks in. Now, if you're in a classroom full of kids, you have to keep them safe and you have to be with them. Like, you're not just going to go out. You're going to make sure the door's locked, they're barricaded. I would have, since I was middle school, I would have had the bigger kids barricade the door with the desks. And we had an adjoining classroom. I probably would have, I don't know if I would have utilized that or not. I would have probably talked to the Spanish teacher and see what she said to do. Because she was, so we had like a classroom between us and then her class. Um. I know I described my experience in a previous video about what happened when I thought there might be a kid with a gun in my class. Fortunately, did not have one and had a very good ending. And he's a great kid, but I think he had something mentally not all there. So, or well, I know he he mentally wasn't all there. I don't know what exactly the diagnosis was, but he was a sweet kid. I mean, I miss all of them. Even the ones that drove me crazy. Even the ones that drove me crazy, I miss them all. But yeah, some of us don't need a weapon. I mean, I... If I were in the hallway when I was still teaching and there was a gunman, I would want the kids to lock me out of class. I would not. I would go either hide or I'd try to find the SRO and help him. I would do it unarmed because to me, that is my job. My job is to protect those kids. I can't have children. I've known this for years. Um, long story. I'll probably get into it in something else, another piece of content. And it's never really been a big thing for me, but whatever I taught, those were my babies. You, you're gonna come to my babies, you're gonna come through me. And if you're gonna hurt my babies, I'm gonna hurt you. And I'm not the only teacher who felt that way. And even now as a, you know, quote unquote, disgraced ex hot teacher, despite my differences with my former principal and AP, um, if there was a school shooting at my old school, which is within walking distance of my house, if you think for a minute that I would not go up there and kick ass, you're mistaken. You're mistaken. We all would. 